Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Thursday, August 29th. It is Football Thursday, as I like to call it, over at DocSports.com, and that's because we post all of our plays for the weekend in football over at DocSports.com each and every Thursday throughout the season, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time, are when my plays will be available, along with everybody else's over at DocSports.com. We'll have more on that, and I've got a college football free pick for Thursday coming up at the end of this report. We'll get to all that in just a second. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. Click on the link below this video and get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages at DocSports.com or any other capper for that matter on the DocSports roster. And what a day to do it. Opening weekend of college football. And again, all my plays this weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whatever, college football, NFL preseason, all available Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, also, don't forget about this little dandy, the uh, Doc Sports Journal. College football, NFL schedules from the opening day of the season, including this past preseason, which finishes up tonight, right through uh, the end of the college football and NFL season, all included, all broken down week by week in schedule order. And as I mentioned, you're also going to get in this 160 pages of information, little footnotes on each and every game that'll tell you which page to go to to find out if the teams played last year, what the important statistics were last year in those head-to-head -head matchups. Also, if there are any trends, angles, or situations on those particular games. Only 11 bucks, and uh, you can check out how to get this over at DocSports.com on the homepage. Enter your address information or wherever you want the journal to be sent, or Google search, and it'll pop up, and you can do it there also. Again, just 11 bucks for the 160-page Doc Sports Journal 48th edition. They've been around for half a century. Uh, no other company, I don't think, can say that when it comes to my business, uh, but Doc Sports has done a fantastic job over the last half century. All right, uh, again, uh, a college football free pick coming up in just a moment. Uh, here's what we got going for Thursday. These plays will be available again 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific on Thursday. And uh, we're going to have at least five plays, at least, because I've got those plays already set to go. Uh, and those plays are not going to move far enough away from where I need them to be to be plays. I do have a couple of more that are that close to being picks. So we could have as many as seven plays. College football, mostly. Looks like I'll probably have one NFL preseason play, maybe two, uh, but again, likely going to have six or seven plays uh, over at DocSports.com. Again, I don't want to commit and say there's going to be eight, nine, ten, seven, six, whatever, uh, because we don't post the plays until 6 p.m. Eastern time, and I want to see if any of those possible plays move away from our lines and where we need them to be uh, before we can make bets on them and give them out to you. So at least five, though, are going to be part of the card, including a seven-unit play for opening weekend. You know how well we did last year. College football, I hope you're with me and the NFL. Uh, we were number one in college football and the NFL combined last year, nearly 60 percent winners. Here's what we've done over the last several years now, college football and the NFL. College football, 153 and 105 run, 59 percent against the spread. NFL, shorter term, although it's a lot of plays, 60 and 35 with a couple of the pushes. Folks, again, that's 63% against the spread with our last 97 NFL plays and about 59% against the spread with the last 393 NFL plays. I don't see it changing. I think we're going to continue to have this success. Uh, you saw what we did in preseason, our free preseason NFL picks combined with our premium NFL preseason picks, 6-3, and three, 67% through week three of the preseason. We've had a top 20 finish in the Westgate Super Contest. A couple of years ago, we turned 1,500 into over 20,000, over almost 25,000 that particular year. I'm back in the Westgate Super Contest. I put my money where my mouth is. I'm very proud of that. And also, even the station casinos, handicapping invitational they used to have a few years ago. I was in that for five seasons, 16 handicappers, I believe it was. We gave up, or gave out, I should say, about 500 pro and college football plays combined over a five-year run, and I hit 59%. And guess what? Those plays were released 
to the public every Friday night. That's where you can find the plays. We had a radio show over at the Sunset Station back then. We had the contest. We had about 16 cappers in it. Also, the only one to have three straight, three straight uh, advancements into the finals, into the championship round of the Station Casinos contest. So here I am giving myself a lot of pats on the back. The reason I'm bringing this up is because it's been something that we've been doing year after year, college football and the NFL. We haven't won every single season for 25 years, but we've had a real good run over the last several years in college football and the NFL. And again, at least five plays will be posted Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern. I do have a seven unit play that will be posted at that time. And again, we could have as many as seven plays by the time 6 p.m. Eastern on Thursday rolls around if the lines stay in our favor. Also gonna have WNBA on Thursday. We uh, the, the league was off on Wednesday, so no plays there, but uh, 34, 18, and two, up over 50 stars of profit in the WNBA. Uh, our first summer handicapping the WNBA. Also Major League Baseball I passed on Wednesday. I'll be in action on Thursday. So a lot going on for Thursday for me over at DocSports.com. Don't miss out. WNBA, 1 p.m. Eastern. Major League Baseball post at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. And then of course, football ball 6 p.m. Eastern Time. All looking for a big week right now. Upcoming college football weekend and uh, don't want you to miss out. All right, let's get to our free pick for Thursday, and we're turning to the college football slate, handful of games, and we're taking Texas State plus the big points over AM. Now, the numbers dropped down to around 33, a couple of the points down from where it had been, uh, but I have this power rated a few points even lower than that, so I still like Texas State at 33 in this game. Jake Spivital, nice coach, nice hire by the Bobcats, and I like his background. He's got some good offensive minds that he's learned under uh, in, his, in his years that he's been coming up to the point of now being the head coach with the Texas State Bobcats. And listen, I like the quarterback situation and the skill people around him and in the offense that Spivital is going to run. I think he's got the right people already in place. Uh, I do think they're going to hang around in this game. And here's the elephant in the room if you're Texas A&M. Listen, I like Jimbo Fisher and what he can do with this program and what he's done in a short time so far. Uh, but the elephant in the room is the fact that they've got that massive game next week against the Clemson Tigers. I don't know about you, but when I was 18, 19 years old, I'd be a little bit more focused on the number one team in college football with yet another chance to win a national title with a leading candidate for Heisman Trophy than I would out of this so-called little school out of San Marcos. Okay, there's a lot of kids going there, but you know, little school football-wise. So for me, if I'm 18, 19 years old, I'm probably looking a little bit ahead to Clemson. And here's also what you might get out of AM. If they're up 24 in the fourth quarter, do you really think they're going to have their key starters and regulars out there on the field with a chance? to get knocked around a little bit and lose them for next week against Clemson? I don't think so. Uh, I think Texas State's going to hang around in this one and cover this number. Now it's moved down again. Sharp bets have taken Texas State down to 33. I even saw it drop below 33 in a couple of the books on a Wednesday. But again, it's still close enough, uh, or far enough, I should say, for my power rating number to where it's a play. So Texas State plus the points over Texas A&M. It's our free pick for Thursday. Don't forget about the card. Again, uh, college football will be posted 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, five plays for sure, a seven unit play for sure, and potentially more by the time 6 p.m. Eastern rolls around on Thursday and we send those plays out to post so you can grab them. Don't forget about WNBA. Don't forget about baseball all Thursday afternoon over at DocSports.com. All right, listen, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. Put Thursday in the win column right back here Friday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. Thank